Welcome back to another episode of Chasing Shadows. Tonight we revisit the Beach Army Hospital. And let me tell you, this place was absolutely terrifying this night. It was very active. It was almost like the building was alive. Thank you for stopping by to spend a few minutes with me. If you want to help support the channel, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and share this video with somebody in your life. That loves the paranormal. Without further ado, part two of Beach Army Hospital. find a room with a table in it. I want to set up my shit. All right, guys. Jeff and Matt back here. Beach Army Hospital. I'm sure you remember the lady. There she is. <coughs> Our investigation got cut short last time. So we're back to see if we can make communication with the spirits here. Any last words? <laughs> you excited? I am too. Alright. Let's go back. What? I can't remember what room we were in. Where we were trying to do the EVPs at. No. What is this? Oh. Is that a refrigerator? Is that like a body refrigerator? Oh yeah. Just be careful. Yeah, that's too small. That's compared to my hand. My hand's massive compared to this one. It's, it's like a little kid's handprint. Jeff and Matt, Beach Army Hospital, EVP session, second floor. I'm gonna set this down. To any spirits that are here in this building with us, this, this light on the table is a device that you can speak to us through. If you come in here, and talk into that orange light, we'll be able to hear you. We mean you no harm or disrespect. We only want to communicate with you. What's your name? Are you stuck in this hospital? Do you know what year it is?
we want to know your story you can tell us anything you want into this orange light just talk into it we'll be able to hear your voice Spirit box session with us? Sure. See what we catch. <laughs> what? <laughs> What'd you say? I said no one's interested in the wind. Yeah. Let's get the spirit box out and see what we catch here. Are you crazy? I'm going backwards. 300 bucks. 300 bucks. Can you tell us your name? Who's the female we hear coming to? Come talk to us. You want me? That's what it sounds like. Yes, I want to talk to you. What's your name? Who's the woman we hear? Can you come up and touch this device in his hand? There's that guitar guy. Are you here with us? Sometimes when visiting a location, you go in not really knowing what the preferred communication method will be for these spirits, but it was obvious after entering Beach Army Hospital that they were not interested in EVPs, but they were very, very interested in communicating through the spirit box. If you go back and listen to that clip before this, you can hear the same female voice come through three or four times saying different phrases. What an amazing session. You don't have to be afraid. Come up and talk to us through this device. That was just all the way off. There's no way from the ground. Hello? Can 
That was weird. We got some weird stuff through from the get-go. Bunch of like sentences, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> that one woman's voice actually seemed like it answered. Yeah. You want me? It's exactly what it sounded like she said. No, that's it, mother. So how do we get up to the next level? You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is the only... Yeah, there's another floor up there. See, this side of the building is super warm, dude. I think if I had to guess, we got to go down to the first floor and back through. I think there's a way over to the next building from down there. This is where we were, dude. Something busted in here. Yeah, because there's the red rum. I think we were back in here. Yep. But something broke. A pipe broke. like what it was at um, at Tri-Cities. The wall was busted out and there was cinder block behind it and it was written on with chalk. Now it's paint obviously but it's and it's a uh, Essentially it's out of a more Catholic in nature but the symbol of the cross in a circle goes back way before Christianity. Yeah what does it mean? Uh, it's earliest <clears throat> renditions were as a compass but it was given spiritual significance and before even the Babylon Gate. Uh, as um, basically a map of the stars. Okay. Among other stuff. You know what's weird is when I was outside the first time, mm -hmm. I said, do you want to come down and have a smoke with me? And like, my side of my body got so cold. Mm. Anybody want to come have a smoke? This is how we see some weird shadows up here last time. I don't know, dude. I don't know where that other room's at. Your guess is as good as mine. I wonder where he, these are the steps we came up and went down? Yeah. You wanna go wander the first floor? Thank you. 
Mm -hmm. All this leads into the back of the building. Did you hear that? It sounded like a car, but uh, no, it sounded like some dragon upstairs. Does this lead? What the hell? Mm -hmm. It sounded like a like a, somebody made like a voice up through the wall. Let's just chill here for a minute. Don't go down. Oh shit! Here, head. Can you make that go up the red? Grab it as hard as you can. A little harder. Dude, I got a tickle on the back of my leg. Oh, sh**. Are you in the cigarette again? Yeah. I intentionally left this strange noise in the video. Uh, I'm, I'm unsure if it was one of our stomachs or not, but neither one of us addressed it in the moment. So it makes me believe that we didn't hear it, but we were super focused on listening to the noises we were hearing downstairs. So I left it in there, and I'm going to let you guys be the judge. Let me know what you think. Is it our stomachs, or was it a voice trying to come through? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below.
Can you knock on the wall? Jeff and Matt in the stairwell, Beach Army Hospital, second floor, first floor. <coughs> Can you come up and talk into this orange light? us to hear you. That's a boy. That's a boy. That's a boy. That's a female voice, dude. The thing that makes this capture so amazing is that I heard the voice with my own ears in real time not just through the recording. If you listen, you can hear me react after the voice speaks, and I say, what is that? So this is a pretty phenomenal piece of evidence to catch. Now my question is, what was the voice saying? Let me know what you hear in the comments down below. Okay. <clears throat> 